Hi, Simon. Uh, just following up from our discussions yesterday and previously the week before. Uh, what it was, we, we were a little unclear about what um, metadata the images retain within Squarespace. So I've been doing a little bit of testing today. And uh, I've upload, I'll just make it a wee bit bigger so you can see a wee bit better. That's the image um, that is loaded into, well, there we are. Um, that's uh, just a mock up there. I've uploaded this photo to Squarespace. I've uh, used the Squarespace editor to just mark it like that. And the source of the images was this version of the image here. And I've, you know, just stuffed it every field really uh, with data just to see what's retained. And I've also found out the way that you can uh, geotag the image through um, Picasa. And it's fairly straightforward. You can do that on your, on your own machine. Right, so keep that there. I've downloaded the latest version of this the third time I've tried it, so I'm not quite sure whether it's a reliable test or not. So we get the properties of the image as I've re-downloaded it. You can see the file names stayed the same, it's just got that extra one on the end because it's a copy of the original. But it's stripped out all the detail. And this time it's actually stripped out the geo the geo data, which is a bit odd because um, in the uh, in the editor, I've actually gone into the advanced settings and asked it to import all of the metadata. So I'm not entirely sure that's uh, that's reliable. So potentially that could weaken uh, the it could weaken the effect of the or the effectiveness of doing all that metadata. Um, when you inspect the image when it's actually being displayed on the website. You have to fiddle around a wee bit, but that's the slideshow container there. And then these two are the two images. That's the image of uh, my canoeing buddy. So there's the, that's the canoeing buddy image. So we'll just close that one. Uh, Oops, no. There we are. That's the bit I want. And there's the uh, image there. And while it's displaying, it's retained the alt text, uh, which is basically the, the file name. It's used as the alt text. And contrary to what Squarespace says, it doesn't appear to actually import much of the um, much of the data. Let's just check these. And a bit here, data source, data image static, that's just the file name again, dimensions, oh, it's, no, no, that's got some of the, they are, look, so, but it's not, um, it's not reading the data quite as you might imagine. So, this doesn't, I don't think this uh, means, you know, you've, you've instantly got to abandon Squarespace, but I think uh, if the Squarespace site doesn't sort of perform strongly, then you might want to consider moving on to uh, a different platform, someplace where you have got, you know, a lot of control over these factors. The most important thing at the minute is just to get up there and be visible and uh, start showing up in Cumbria and Lancashire and your target areas. But uh, this possible problem, it could just be today it's not working very well, you know, the way technology goes. But it, uh, it could be a bit of an issue. Anyway, so I have, I have investigated and the workflow through Picasa does appear to be reasonably, reasonably bearable. Um, it shouldn't 
it shouldn't impose too much of a work overhead on your particular workflow. Anyway, that's enough for now. I'll speak to you soon.